You know, some of my good friends, like to this day, yeah. when we when we first met, we were about to fight or something. It, it's always like that. Like we was about yeah. to go at it. You know, uh, what was y'all first interaction um, with one another? Me and Doug first interactions was like it wasn't really shit. They was at the studio. They was at my homie crib. Mm -hmm. I was at my my homie Reese G. He was selling weed and shit. I went over there buy some weed. And everything they had in the studio and I just look back and shit and they've been there recording and shit. And I just sent them a session and I'm like, I'm finna see what they got going on, you feel me? Like and they was trying they they I told them like, I was one of the first niggas rapping in Chicago, so they already knew who I was. Gotcha. So they were trying to keep they cool, like they still kids. We all kids though too, like but they trying to keep they cool but they let me get a picture, bro. Let me get a picture, take a picture <laughs> with them. Then I hear them rap, I thought they all was brothers. I thought young Duck and Dutchy was brothers, but they all looked alike back then. Duck yeah. Duck won fat, he ain't had no hell, they all had hell cause they were skinny as hell, like I thought they all was brothers. Yeah. Heard them rap, did a song with them. Feel me, we just locked in after that. They started coming to the crib. That's what's they up. They stayed on St. Lawrence. I stayed on Vernon. Right That's there. like four block radius. They walk over, turn. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's what's up. Um, I had before I interview anyone, I ask my subscribers, you know, what's what's a question they want to hear. Yeah. One of the uh, subscribers asked, "What's one of his greatest memories he shared with FBG Duck? Something funny, maybe deep, or a crazy experience that no one knows that he shared with Duck." Man, there's so much shit I deal with that crazy ass boy. That man, <laughs> man, look, if anybody knew Doug, they knew Doug was the life of the party. Like, his energy was everything, you feel me? Like, I don't know. But I can tell you some shit, like, right now, before we just walked in, we were just talking about it. Like, I was just telling them back then, we used to take Molly crazy. Like, mm -hmm. we used to OD do Molly, like, do that shit crazy, bro. Like, and we was having a party at my house, right? And there was a whole bunch of bitches, and I'm rolling off the Molly. And I'm trying to, I think I was trying to fuck a bitch or something. Yeah. And a bitch got the tweak and, and Doug like, no, just be cool, bro. And I'm like, no, put everybody <laughs> out, bro. Put everybody out. He telling me like, no, you tweak, I ain't putting nobody out. I go get a, I go get a big ass bucket and go get toilet water and get throwing it on all the bitches. <laughs> 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 throwing it out the crib, bro. <laughs> bitch, get the fuck out right now. He on two, bro. You tweaking? We trying to fuck the bitches, bro. I'm um, bro. These bitches blowing my head. They gotta get up out of here, right? Like, like, but why, yeah, why you did that part. for you, bro? Cause the, a bitch he had got the cock block on. I'm trying to oh, fuck up friend. Okay, like, bro, okay, um, okay. But why does we study coming in the room? They all over Molly. They tweaking though the whole time. I'm like, you trying to fuck? You can say that. Bitch, like, but she just had to get her friend. Like, now nah, I'm trying to make sure my friend good. Bitch, your friend is gone. She is great. Bitch, we is okay. What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, word, word. Now nah, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> we used to do some wild shit back then. We was childish. Word. Is it is it true that he was working on a deal with um Jay Prince and Rap a Lot Records? I, I don't know. I can't really speak on that. He said something about it, but he didn't really say too much. You feel me? Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So why do we know about that? Okay, I, cause I kind of, I kind of heard that, but I was like, yo, let me just ask to he see. Said, if it's true. He said, he said something about it, but he ain't really. You feel me? Like going to details yeah, with that. He like, I supposed to meet with Buddy now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. And I'm like, shit, see what they talking about? Are they talking about? Are they talking some good paper shit? You feel me? Make yeah. it happen. Yeah. No, um, they, I mean, one of the one of one of the niggas came to Chicago. I forgot his name. Big folks. I'm focused on high right now. He pulled up to the rack and was hollering that duck and his people and shit. Oh, okay. He called me too when that shit happened with Buddy No the Chain. Gotcha. From Texas and shit to rap a lot of niggas. You know, so I rap a lot for sure, you feel me? Yeah. I'm gotcha. I don't, I don't know. That would have been nice though. Yeah, that's a fact. That's that a fact. Nice they they, they responsible for mad people. Yeah. Or, I guess it was like, you know, I'm fucking with a little YBN and the man and shit. That's my little homie. Why be in the man? Yeah, he signed okay. to him. I was talking with him the other day. He called me and said, what the fuck? Word. That's what's up. You know, I know th this question, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. You know, at this current point in time, does anyone know, like, who did what to Doug or any of those things? Or? I don't know, man. Damn. That shit, like, the family it's, it's, you know how this shit go, bro. Yeah. The street shit, shit. Yeah. Everything happened so fast. One fuck it up. He was by himself. He was with a female. Yeah. When well, nobody that, we can't say, we can't see nothing. Nobody see nothing. We can't do nothing. You feel me? Exactly. Like, Damn. Niggas lost right now. 
Like, everything happened for a reason. It's fucked up, say that. But everything happened for a reason, Rusty. Yeah, I know. Him. My boy Tom, probably. Yeah, he was but, on his way, too. Yeah, and it was. Uh, it was, I just blame, I just blame the gun he had, his choice of gun he had that day, you feel me? Like, yeah. we had eight of them same guns. He could have took any one. He chose that one with that bogus ass clip. Damn. You feel me? But, that shit fucked us up, bro. But niggas don't know about it. We don't know now. Yeah, no. Nah, it was a bang out, you see how he went out, so niggas know what's up. Yeah. They see exactly how he went out. It was a bang. Fuck you, son. Fuck. I know, you know, it has to be devastating for everyone, you know, like the kids, family, that friends, was, like, you know, like, that everyone shit, who loved like, them. That was, that was, that was all for Robert, like he said, was, like, he put food on the table for everybody, including yeah. me. Like, he made, even though I'm older, like, I, you know, I told him everything he knew, he surprised me, like, he was surprised me, he got past me, bro, like, yeah. This nigga took off. I went to jail. Came home. This nigga got a deal. Yeah, took, I'm yeah like, he was doing his thing. That's, <laughs> that's how you do it. You feel me? I was so proud of him, bro. Like, I instantly came home. Went back on tour with him for like a year. He was on tour. Fucking the shit up, bro. I kept telling him, time to go, bro. He's like, yeah. I gotta go. He, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But you know how this shit go. You get caught in the street shit. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Call anything, ain't no getting out. Like, like right now, I can say I got my all the way over here. I'm all across the world. Yeah, I still. You see how you walk in? You see how we get, how we got shit? Like niggas nah, still nah, got to be situated. You got to have something like cause so much weird shit going on, bro. Exactly, exactly. And I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, you know, what would make uh, what Duck went through a little bit easier to deal with, if there even is anything? Yeah, shit, you can never deal with that. That's, mm -hmm. I'm really fucked, like my little brother, my blood little brother, Richie Jerk, we were rapping too. Yeah. From 62nd, I got the chain, 6200, it was his name on RJ, on like, TW, like, they got interviews on YouTube too, him, Poppy, and um, yeah. Biko, they all did. That's crazy. Like I got married to good. My brother, brother, same mom, same dad. He just died literally three months before Duck. So and I'm, then, I'm yeah. not even nowhere near healed from my little brother at all. Like and then Duck died. And then yeah. this shit happened. Like you feel me? Like so. I, that shit really fucked. Like I ain't been the same since, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I've been fucked up in the head, bro. Like yeah, yeah, bro. So. You ever? You know? I know this is a little deep. You ever consider therapy or shit like that? I mean, not really because I talk to my brother a lot. Gotcha. That's one thing we do. Like, we talk. Like, we get high. We get, uh, get in our emotions and shit. But no, nah, I ain't going to no fucking therapy. <laughs> <laughs> man, none of y'all niggas want to try therapy, son. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Look. Oh, like, we, yo. You they know. try to make me go to anger management classes right now. Oh. What the fuck? I need anger management classes for y'all. Now, you Sorry. never know, bro, because I feel like, you know what, a lot of us black people, mm -hmm. like, we learn to deal with so much shit from a young age that we don't right. even know that we not supposed to be dealing with that shit at, at that all, age. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we, it's 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 like like I got a five year old. I'm like when I was five and six, what I was doing, I could never see him doing. That's what never. I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. Like my daughter in eighth grade, you know what I was doing? I had my daughter out of eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. I, like I was fresh out of eighth grade when I had her, and she's in eighth grade now. Like and you could never see her you living. Could never the way. see her living. I was living exactly. like exactly. Like that's it. It's crazy. I watch that shit scary. Our life moves so fast. Like, Indeed. like you look up, like damn. And shit. a lot of niggas ain't do shit with their life. Like, you disappointed. That's a fact. That's a fact.